Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So a few weeks back, Cricut released a background removal tool that is automatic. So it's supposed to be able to click one button, removes the background from your image, makes something that you can do print then cut with. Now this feature for right now is free for everyone to try out, but they are gonna make it Cricut Access exclusive. So the question for the day is, how good is the removing of the background with the new tool? Second question is, is it worth it? Like if you don't already have Cricut Access, should you get it just for that tool? So let's take a look at the Cricut tool along with two other tools to see between the three, which is the best option and which gets you the best bang for your buck. So first let's take a look in Cricut Design Space. So let's test Cricut Design Space's new background removal tool with three different images. So this is the automatic background removal tool. So I've uploaded an image, so I'm gonna start with simple and I'm gonna move my way to more complex. But I'm gonna choose complex every time just because I that's what I usually do. So everyone can use the manual background removal tool. So you can select the background and remove it manually. The tool we're talking about is the one that is automatic, which means you press one button and it is supposed to remove the entire background for you. So we're gonna press the button and see what happens on this simple image. All right, so here's our results. And as you can see, it missed part of the background. So what I can do is click erase manually and I can erase that off. I can change my eraser size to larger so it doesn't take me as long and just swipe along and remove that excess. Otherwise, everything looks great. So what you want to happen is that the background be checked and that means that the background is not there anymore. You can click the preview cut image button so you can see that what it's going to cut around. So a print and cut of this would work fine. So I can do apply and continue. And then I can choose the print then cut option and upload that to my canvas. So then you would just pick it, add it to your canvas, and you would be ready to do a print and cut. So let's work our way up and let's try a more complicated image. So this time I have a picture, same cup, but I'm holding it. This would be the illustration of if you're trying to remove the background from a photo with a person in it with some things in the background. So the background isn't too overly complicated. Again, we're picking complex and clicking continue. And then I'm going to choose automatic remove background. This actually did a really decent job in this case. It even got my piece of hair over here, which is pretty amazing. And if I preview the cut image, I can see that it's gonna cut my piece of hair out over there. So I'm gonna apply and continue and do print and cut and upload that to my canvas. So again, I'll pick the image and add it to my canvas. So now I have a couple different print and cut images on my canvas. Now let's look at the most complicated one that I'm gonna try today. So this one again is an illustration of a person, but the background is extremely complicated and full of stuff. So I'm interested to see if Cricut Design Space can tell the difference between the background and the person in this one. So we're gonna click remove background to try it automatically. And again, it didn't do bad. There is some over here in the corner and then the hood is not exactly right. So let's try like undoing that. I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna try to see what this is in the background. So that looks like a box in the background. So let's zoom back out. First thing you can do is you can crop the image. So I just want the person. So I can crop this down where I'm just getting the edge of the coat there. And that would mean there was less of the box in the picture. So that gets the whole person less of the box. So we'll go back to the background remover. So now we'll click remove background on this cropped version. Let's um, zoom out just so we can see the entire thing. And we'll remove background automatically. So again, it still sees the box as part of the person. So we would need to like zoom in and remove this as best we could which would not be easy in this case. Um, we could remove part of it. Getting around like, like things like these fingers is like 100% the reason why you want to remove the background automatically. So all I can do is like do the best I can here with these manual tools. It's definitely not gonna be perfect. So this one definitely um, was too complicated for the tool, but I'll just kind of clean it up the best I can. And then I'm just gonna click apply and continue. Again, we'll do print then cut and upload. 
And then again, I'll add this one to the canvas. So all in all, the Cricut automatic background removal tool did not do bad at all. I am gonna use two more free tools and upload those to Cricut Design Space just so we can see them all on one screen. So let's take a look at those other tools and how they compare to the Cricut automatic background removal tool. So now that we've taken a look at Cricut Design Space, my second tool, and it's like a personal favorite of mine, is Canva.com. So let's take a look at that one. This is a look at my favorite tool for removing backgrounds and it's called Canva. Canva.com, I actually have a subscription, but you can do things for free. And I do have another free website as well if you don't like the idea of this one. So we can go to edit photo. For the first one, I picked the easiest one again, and we're going to click edit photo. So once your image is uploaded, you can click the image and click edit image. From here, you have a ton of different options, but we are after the background remover. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. So once again, did a fairly good job with the easy one. You will see over here that you can erase or restore various portions of the image. I will go ahead and save this out so we can compare it to the Cricut version. When you wanna save this from Canva, you will click download. You wanna be sure that you have PNG selected and you'll wanna click the transparent background option. That's the only way it's gonna export with a transparent background. When you see this crown beside transparent background, that is a feature that comes with the paid subscription. So do keep that in mind. Again, I'm gonna go with a totally free option at the end. If you just wanted to save this without the background as a JPEG, you could. It is easier to upload as a ping file, however. If you wanted to save it just as a JPEG file and then remove the background in Design Space, Design Space would have no problem removing this white background. So you still could do that. So now I'm going to edit the other two images and see what happens. So we're going with this next more complicated design and we are going to edit the photo. Then once again, we'll click the picture, click edit image and background remover. Once again, this did a really good job. It even did a better job on my hair, I feel like, which was, you know, kind of the hard part of this one. So I am going to go ahead and save this out. Again, I'm gonna do it as a ping with the transparent background to make it easier. And finally, we'll try this most complicated photo and see what happens. Again, I'll click the image, click edit image, and background remover. So about the same thing, um, it didn't get a lot of this box here, so I am, again, I'm gonna try to do the best I can to erase that off. You can zoom in by using the slider at the bottom. You can use the side and the bottom to move it around. And once again, you can make your brush size smaller as you need to, to get into all those little pieces. So once I'm done, I just click done and apply and we're ready to download this version from Canva. So now let's take a look at those side by side with the versions we did in Design Space. So here is a look at everything side by side. So Cricut and Canva. I would say on the first image, they're about equal. The second image, Canva definitely got more details in my hair. However, the cut on this probably wouldn't work with my Cricut. So the Cricut got less details but the cut would probably be fine as far as cutting it with my Cricut machine. And let me try to show you a little bit about what I mean. All right, so let's take a closer look at what I mean by this. So I dropped a pink background on here. So with the Cricut version on the left, it's gonna cut sort of around my hair, if you can see that. Not down into these super fine details around my thumb. The Canva version caught all of that detail. So if I was to just print and cut the image of me by itself without a background, it would try to cut all these pieces within my hair, which could be a nightmare on my Cricut. See how it's pink behind these, in, these places in my hair? It would try to cut all down here within my thumb, between my fingers right here. Super, super small details it would try to cut. The Cricut background removal tool was smart enough to know that the machine can't cut all these details in my hair, and you can see they're gray or white behind here, so it did not remove those. Now, good and bad. So let's say I removed the background on this image because I wanted to cut it just like this, then it's good. If I remove the background on the image because I wanted to put it on a pink circle and do a print and cut with my Cricut, not so good because I want my hair to look pink behind there, not white. 
So it may depend on what you are cutting and what you're doing, which background removal tool you want to use. So you're gonna see the same types of differences. So a little bit more here on the hat where it's a little bit cleaner with the Canva version. So a few, a few differences like that, similar to what we saw with the other image. So it's really gonna depend on what you're cutting and what you wanna do, which tool that you may want to use. And now the third tool, remove.bg. I've used it several times before and it's 100% free, which makes it a real contestant for being a winner on this one. This one is called remove.bg and I will link to all of these in the description below if you can't find them. So this is a 100% automatic and free tool. So we are just going to upload each of these images and try them out. So I hit upload on my image. It automatically removes the background right away. Looks super great on the simple one. And all we have to do is click download. So it's a super easy way to remove a background. And then we'll try another one. We'll click this remove BG in the upper left. We'll upload our next image. And again, automatically remove the background. Got a lot of the details on my hair. It looks really good. Everything looks great. I'll go ahead and click download. There is an edit up here and we'll try that maybe on our next one. For last time I clicked the remove BG in the left to upload our next one, but you can also scroll all the way to the top and upload another one. And again, it's catching the box as part of the image. So I'm gonna click edit. And again, we can erase. So you can either erase or restore. So I'm gonna erase, kind of make my brush smaller. And again, just like we've done in the other two, kind of move through here. Um, again, we can zoom in to get a better look at those small details and keep erasing until we're happy with the results. Once you are happy with the results, you do need to download from here. Download image. Because once you click the X, it will be gone. And another thing I wanted to point out about this one, you can edit and you could actually insert other backgrounds, which I think is a cool feature. So I could put um, a kind of city scene behind here and have the person in the city or whatever. So that's kind of a cool feature if you wanted to play around with that as well. So now let's head to Cook a Design Space and see what the differences are between this and the other two options. So here are all three in comparison. So remove.bg did a great job on the first one. I feel like on the first one, they're all three really similar. So if you have like a super simple image any of the three would be fine. This next one, I'm really impressed with the remove.bg. It did a better job than the Cricut, but not as super detailed as the Canva. So it was somewhere in the middle ground where I think my Cricut could cut it, especially if I like contoured out a few of the small details. I definitely think I could get a cuttable image with remove.bg. So it is definitely an, a great option. Also, when I went to export those, it was 100% free and the background was removed. So with Canva, if I didn't have the paid subscription, I would have to download it with a white background and again, remove the white once I got into design space, which is kind of a pain. With remove.bg, 100% free, could download it without the background. It uploads great to Cricut Design Space. The last image, to me, I felt like it was the same. I had to remove the portion of the box on all three sites. And to me, they uploaded the same when I uploaded them as well. So I will say that for me, remove.bg is definitely like, the most affordable option, especially if you don't have a Cricut Access subscription. If you have that Cricut Access subscription and it's more convenient for you to use their background remover, then absolutely go ahead and use it. All right, pros and cons of each. The Cricut tool for removing backgrounds is great. Yes. First of all, it's slow. However, we talked about how it leaves some of those details that maybe your Cricut can't really cut. So it might save you time in the long run having to use contour to get some of those details out to get a decent cut out of your project. So that might be beneficial. So if you wanna do something else and you wanted all those details left in and out of your background, so you could put another background on it for a different print than cut, the Cricut tool might not be what you're looking for. So I found that remove.bg sort of split the difference between the two. So it's free, which is one great benefit. Don't have to pay anything extra. And it does a great job removing the background. It's actually super fast. You can upload them right into Cricut Design Space, use them as a print and cut, contour out any details it might leave that might be too small, and you're ready to cut. 
So I really think remove.bg is the answer for those of you that don't have Cricut access, don't wanna get it, and don't wanna spend extra money for another subscription. So I hope this helps you decide what option is best for removing backgrounds for your Cricut projects. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, please drop down in the comment section, ask away. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this every week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank y'all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.